I believe that the probability of life existing somewhere else in the universe is extremely high. Carl Sagan himself stated that it would be incredibly arrogant to think that life only exists on our tiny pale blue dot. The fact is, there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. And each galaxy exists hundreds of billions of stars. These stars are surrounded by planets, moons, and asteroids. The universe is brimming with the potential for life existing somewhere. But what might alien life look like? Would they look like us? Humans? Almost certainly not. Humans are the result of millions of years of evolution. Very precise selective pressures caused humans to look the way that they do. And even then, most of our bodily systems were inherited from prior organisms. For example, humans and sharks have a lot in common. We both have muscular systems, we both have skeletal systems, we both have teeth. But humans and sharks look very different from each other, even though we come from the same planet and we share a common ancestor. Selective pressure is everything. For example, on our planet, there is a selective pressure for cuteness. Cute animals and humans are more likely to survive long enough to reproduce because they elect emotions from others who want to protect them from harm even though normally they would easily be slaughtered by less amicable life forms. An alien life form would come from a different planet with a much different environment, different selective pressures, and no common ancestor. As a result, alien life presumably might look incredibly bizarre. The best preview can probably be obtained from life that exists in exotic locations on our own planet. The deep sea anglerfish and the sacopharyngiformis are a good example of this. You might remember these creatures from Star Wars Episode 1. Because of their exotic environment, it sort of models how selective pressures might sculpt a life form that exists on a planet that is very different from ours. The fact is, most Hollywood aliens are based on life forms from our own planet. Deep-rooted fears that people already have of certain animals, such as insects or arachnids, are reflected in sci-fi media. But what would alien life really look like? Well, it all depends on what type of life forms they are. Even if they are carbon-based, their appearance can range from something that looks like a bacteria to something that looks more like a fungus. But it doesn't have to be carbon-based. If it were silicon-based, it might resemble a rock. Maybe there are some aliens that are ammonia-based and live inside the depths of gas giants. But let's stop for a moment and consider what would the implications be if alien life forms did happen to look like us, or maybe doesn't necessarily look like us, but shares similar genetic information, that indeed would be a remarkable discovery. In order to understand ourselves, we must look outside of ourselves. If an alien life form existed that shared similar genetic information as ours, it could mean a number of different things. Perhaps it means an ancient and powerful alien race seeded many worlds with the potential for life and as a result, we all share a common blueprint, so to speak. Or perhaps the explanation is more naturalistic. Maybe the potential for life is formed in outer space and is seeded to different worlds through cosmic impacts. But wouldn't the impacts destroy the seeds of life? Perhaps. Sarah Starlight's video, Evolution of Life on Other Planets, Even the Gods Have Gods, does an in-depth explanation on this hypothesis. I suggest you check it out. Regardless of that, however, the fact remains that discovering alien life could provide insight into our own origins and give us an idea of how life began on Earth. The gifts that alien life will bring earthly science is astounding. However, we are currently only dealing with unintelligent alien creatures. What about intelligent life?